Prison Online Final Report Training. Similar to the progress report training, the purpose here is to provide a general overview of Prison's new final report module. In this training, I'm going to walk through all the pages within a final report. From Prison homepage, click on the progress slash final reports button and then click on the project you want to start a final report with. To start a new final report, click on start final reports here. It's grayed out because we have an existing draft final report. But for training purposes, we're just going to use this one instead. The final report had quite a few more pages than the progress report. We have instructions on each page. Also remember to click on the info icons for additional instructions. You may go from page to page by clicking their names or use the next and back button. Remember to save your progress as often as possible. And use the check page for errors button to make sure the page is clear of errors. The description page is probably the most important page of all. We really want you to provide a well-written detailed description of the work that was completed with the project. Remember to use the work type button to remind you the key work types that were part of your agreement. The narrative screen will be asked for Simon related projects only. Remember to click on suggestions for ideas of what to mention in the narrative. There might be a question screen. Just follow the instruction and answer all the questions. For the property screen, each of those properties name represent a link to that property. If you click on the name, a new window will open. Within each property, there are four tabs. You need to make sure all of them are clear of errors before you can proceed. Just close that one. And make sure you get check marks for all your properties. For the metrics pages, you need to enter the final metric for your project. If your project had progress metrics, you may see some metrics values already in there. Just go ahead and update them. If you're missing a metric, Use check page for errors button so it is highlighted and you can find it easily. We'll leave it blank so we can come back and fix it. For the acquisition cost screen, everything on this screen it's read-only. It's all derived from the bill you have entered. The planning, development, restoration, and maintenance costs are based on your, your build cost too. You need to give us an estimate of your project cost that were spent on the project categories that were in your project agreement. Remember, there are note fields where you can use to put in the notes as needed. The bill summary page, oh, make sure to save it. 
The bill summary page is also read-only and shows the amount in the agreement. The sponsor match page, you need to complete any metrics that are on this page. For the sponsors with summon projects, you'll need to make sure that sums of the final metrics equals to the amount you build to RCO. Again, you can upload additional attachments. And finally, we came to the Certify and Submit page. Use this button to check the entire report. And go back to the page where we are missing values. Correct the error. Refresh again. And now, check those certification boxes and submit your final report. And that is it for the final report training. Again, if you have additional questions, please contact the prison support team.